One of the really cool things about using a lot of the native instruments synthesizers in standalone is that you can actually use your computer keyboard like you would a MIDI keyboard. But if we try that here in contact, it doesn't work, but it actually does. It's just an option you have to turn on. So we can come up here to file, or we can just click the gear icon here. Same thing in our case. And come here to handling. Use computer keyboard for MIDI playback. Check that. Then you have a keyboard velocity option. 100 is the default. You can change that around if you want a harder velocity or a softer velocity. Close that. And now whenever I press a key on my keyboard, now I get sound just like I was playing from a uh, MIDI keyboard or just you know tapping keys down there with the mouse. And the way this is laid out is that's C and it follows along just like a real MIDI keyboard would. So we have C, then we have our sharp, D, sharp, E, nothing, just because there wouldn't be an E sharp on a MIDI keyboard. So this is just exactly how it's laid out. All your black keys would be in this row here, right? This is your lower octave, and here's your higher octave. Then we have more black keys right here for our numbers. Of course, you could play uh, chords. Right? But if you find yourself running out of range, hold on the shift key and go up. Release sh the shift. I actually have another instrument loaded up here. Take that off mute. Controlling both of those. You can just mess around with your MIDI ports here. If I happen to have this first one on, say, B3, I play. It's not playing my second one here. I could put that on Omni. Then it will work. Or I could put it on something from B here. So B2. Not going to work. But if I put it on B3, same port as this one. There we go. It works. So if you want to use your computer keyboard like you would a MIDI keyboard with contact, just like we did with the uh, synthesizers, FM8, Massive, and etc., just make sure you turn that option on right here under handling in your options and make sure that is checked. Okay. Of course, it's going to work with more than just the contact factory library. Work with uh, whatever you have because this is an option of, uh, of contact, not of a certain library. So we'll load this up here. Again, this works with contact and standalone. If you're in a host, uh, it's probably not going to work, okay? Because your host, like Pro Tools, is going to take precedent for those uh, those notes from your keyboard. So here you can see we're changing things. Not hearing thing in this case, but now if I go up higher, right? it right from your computer keyboard. This sort of setup is great if you're using a laptop, a mobile sort of a mobile rig and you don't want to take a MIDI keyboard with you or if you just don't have a MIDI keyboard. Uh, if you're using a laptop, maybe a Surface and you want to come up with some ideas uh, on the fly wherever you are. It's a great way to do that. Just your keyboard and a mouse. All right, so hopefully you get the idea. If you want to use your computer keyboard like you do a MIDI controller, just make sure that option is checked and you can use your computer keyboard just like you would a MIDI keyboard right here in Native Instruments, Contact.